What's up everybody? We are back today for another different video. I'm sure y'all probably used to seeing the Dancing with the Stars videos now because uh, I done fell off doing the challenge and fell off doing One More Chance because both of them shows have lost me. I ain't gonna say One More Chance has lost me, but it's lost me in terms of just like, I don't really know what to do, truthfully. But I'll watch One More Chance, I still watch it. But it's not really much to talk about. It's just like each episode is very, very limited on what you can really talk about because it's very drawn out. It only happens over the course of so many days and they stretch it out for an hour. It's like, and then the challenge, the main show is just so fucking whack. Like, it's whack. Like, I, think, I stopped watching it. Like, the last episode I remember watching was when Esther got eliminated, I want to say. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Like, I've seen clips online and stuff and Corey's finally turning up and stuff and Corey's like the only one left on the show that I would actually watch for. But it's like, I'm no. Like, they're corny. They're whack on that show and it's just not good. But what we're here for today is All Stars 2. I've been waiting to do my uh, cast analysis, cast um, <clears throat> the little preview that they did because I wanted to see like the, the full trailer. I wanted to see that and react to that and then give you my thoughts on the cast. And we're here now, but before we talk about that, I ain't gonna talk too much about it because they're now filming the show, but I'm sure if you're watching this video, you see the spoilers of the cast for All Stars 3. And you know that, if you know me, you know that one name that is on that cast that I've been wanting to see on a show for years. Like, that's my girl. Naya is coming back, y'all. I'm gonna save all my energy for that when this starts to come out whenever they're finished. But they're filming now, and this is the only rap. I think they only film for like two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks. So I'm sure that it'll probably turn around and come out maybe at the beginning of next year. But I'm just so excited she's back. Darrell's on that season two. And what I want to do, like, I want to find a way to kind of get both of them on here at one point. I want to, like, interview them or talk to them about the show. So that I'm putting up in the air. Because those two are two, those are the two, like, the two top dogs that I've supported so much when they were on TV. So, putting that in the air. So hopefully we'll see that. But let's get to All-Stars 2. So we're going to do the cast analysis. I'm going to do it one by one. Um, just off of their little intro picture, their cast picture, and give you my thoughts, and then we're going to watch that um, that trailer. So, let me pull up the cast, and I'm doing it from the challenges Instagram. We have Casey Cooper. Casey is, from what I can remember of her season, she was very, she was very, she's a funny character. She just wasn't a competitor, per se. Her first season, I want to say, was Fresh Meat. She was a West. They were winning eliminations and stuff, but in terms of Casey as a competitor, she's not like, she's not top dog. She's what you would consider a layup. But just to see her back on the cast, um, seeing her back after so many years, I'm excited to see what she's going to do this season. So next we're going to move on to Nehemiah. Nehemiah, he was on All Stars season one. Nehemiah was a good character back in his heyday, because he was cool back in the day too. Um, but he and Wes, and I believe he and Wes, if I can remember correctly, he and Wes was not like, for the longest time, they was not on the same team. But they're really cool now from what I can tell from social media. Nehemiah is a good competitor. Um, I'm interested in seeing how he's going to fare out this season. He did pretty well last season, too. So I'm interested in seeing how he's going to do this season. Next, we got Sophia. Sophia, I don't remember Sophia. That's the thing. Um, but she's every time, just looking at this picture alone, she looks like she's my type of person, so I'm excited. I feel like she's going to be, she could be funny. I don't know what her personality's like because I can't remember who she is, really. But just looking at this picture alone, like I said, she just looks like auntie vibes. Like, I'm ready to see her in action, see what she can do. We got next Steve. Um, again, I don't even remember, I don't remember him at all. Like, I don't remember what season he was on. I don't know. I don't know what to... Just looking at this picture alone, I'm not sure if I can really gauge if he's going to be a physical threat or not. He's got this weird stance. So I don't really know, but we'll see. Ayana, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I've seen her in the clips that they've posted online. She seems like she's going to be really cool to watch. I'm excited to watch her. I don't remember her either, which is weird. It's like so much because I watched back in the early seasons, but I was a kid. And there's a couple seasons that I go back and rewatch, like the old school seasons, like Inferno, Two, Gauntlets, The Duels. I watched all those, but I don't remember her. So she must have did like one season. 
But next we move on to MJ. MJ, I remember MJ. MJ was really, really good back in the day. He was cool. He was just one of the cool, he was one of the cool dudes back in the day. So I'm excited to see him back. It's been a while since he's been on. I want to say, when was his last time? He might have been on Duel 2, I want to say. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm excited to see him back. I feel like he's going to do really well. Next, we got Melinda. I remember Melinda, I believe her last season was Cutthroat, maybe? Or was it Battle of the Seasons? I don't know. It's one of the two. Melinda wasn't really that strong of a competitor. I remember she was with Danny. She was married with Danny. But apparently they divorced. So that's going to be interesting to see her in the house single. I think she's single. But just without him. And like I said, Melinda, she wasn't she wasn't a bad competitor. She just wasn't strong. Um, but I'm excited to see what she's like now. Like, it's been some seasons. It's been some years since she's been on. So I'm excited to see how she does. We got Tech. Tech is funny as hell. He was on season one of All Stars. He was great on there. I'm excited to see him back. I want to see him do good. Because he... How did he go home last season? He went home... I forget how he went home, but... In a way, it was kind of like, I feel like it was close. I just can't remember. But I'm excited to see him back. I want to see him do well. John A. We got John A back. John A, I've always liked John A, even from her real world season, going on to the challenge. Um, she's always, she's been an underrated competitor too. She's always performed really well, especially in like daily challenges and stuff. And I'll never forget that elimination she had with Jasmine when they were partners and they sent home uh, Sarah and I want to say Caitlyn. That was an elimination because everybody thought they was going to lose and they ended up sending them home. But John A, she killed it last season. She came back last season. She looks good now. Like she, well, she, I'm not going to say now like she was terrible, but you can tell she's gotten more in shape. Like John A has lost some weight. She looks like she's toning up and she's, she was a threat in that final too last season and she didn't like she was in her best shape, but she's coming back and she looks good and I think she's going to, she's going to, she's going to show out. And me talking now, I don't even remember. I'm trying to think if I remember. I remember following the spoilers a little bit, but I don't even remember, like, the elimination orders and whatnot. So this is, I'm coming in here kind of fresh. Like, not really paying too much attention, but we got Brad. Brad is crazy as hell. <laughs> and he's exactly what I want to see on TV. I want to see somebody like him on TV. Brad, he's swell as fuck. I'm pretty sure he does, I ain't going to say he does roids, but homeboy is He's he's stacked and he's he's big, so I'm excited to see what he's gonna do. Last time we saw him, I want to say it was Final Reckoning. Brad's gonna be good. I think he's gonna do good this season. It's gonna be really funny to see him and Darrell back in the same house together because they haven't been on the same season. I want to say they haven't been on the same season since that fight. But even though I know they're cool now, but it's just gonna be interesting to see if they work together. But Brad's gonna be good. We got Tyler. Tyler, I believe the last time we seen him was. When he was partners with Bananas. I want to say that was like Rivals 1. I'm surprised myself. I'm remembering stuff. But Tyler was a good competitor too. So I'm excited to see him back. We got Kendall back. Kendall was on last season. She was a beast. Um, Kendall is. She's kind of weird. Like a personality type. She's kind of odd. But she kind of won me over towards the end of her um, stay on last season. She's a good competitor. So I'm excited to see her back. We got Derek. I believe he was on the same season with um, John A and Jasmine, Real World. Okay, I remember last time we saw him, he was on Seasons, Battle of the Seasons, got thrown in that plant by Marie. <laughs> that was a moment. Um, in terms of competition-wise, I don't see him being a threat still, even with these people growing up and getting older, but whatever. We got Janelle. Janelle, I remember Janelle, she won. Didn't she win a season, I want to say? So I'm excited to see her back. She looks the same. <laughs> she really looks the same. So I'm excited to see her back. We got Katie back. Katie was kind of... Katie came back last season and she was kind of mellow and kind of chill. So I'm excited to see what she's going to be like this season. See if she's going to turn up. I still laugh every time she falls in some water. Like, <laughs> just her reaction to shit is just so funny. Especially just seeing it last season when she cut her... I think she busts her nose or something like that. And she just sitting there cussing and you can hear it. Because it's uncensored on Paramount Plus, and I like that. Um, but I'm excited to see her back. Hopefully, she turns up and gives us the old Katie. Next, we got Latarian. He's back. He had a pretty strong showing again last season. So I'm excited to see him back. And that's really all I got to say about that. Next, we got Derek. Derek, I'm not a fan of Derek. Derek is annoying as hell to me. His voice grades on my soul. He 
He's just so extra and just over the top. He does too much. You can tell he's just dying to be back on TV. He's a good competitor. That's, that goes without saying. But, like, you can't have him have a moment on the show because he will wear that shit out. You know what I'm talking about. If you follow this shit on TV and you follow him on social media, like, that elimination with Joss, he will take that to the grave with him and talk about it every day. Derek, just get on here just compete and shut up. Don't say nothing. Next, we got Jasmine. Jasmine, I love Jasmine. Jasmine's funny. She's in that infamous scene with, <laughs> she's in that infamous moment with Nia where Nia just tore her ass to shreds and told her to sit her ass down before she fly off that stage. But Jasmine is funny. Like, I love Jasmine. Jasmine's kind of an underrated competitor, too. I mean, she's not the strongest, but she definitely has heart. Like, when I say she has heart, think back to that elimination that she had with Laurel where Laura was just playing with her, but she was giving her all, knowing that she was gonna get her ass beat. But I'm excited to see her back. Next, we got Ryan. Ryan was good. I think the last time we saw him was like Fresh Meat 2, when he was with Teresa, I think. And Teresa was, that was Teresa's first season. So I'm excited to see him back. We got Leah. Leah, I don't remember her at all. I don't remember her at all. But then we got, um, that's the end of this thread, but I'm going to go back up to the top because we're missing some key players. We got Tina back. Tina is back. The last time we really saw Tina on the challenge for real, for real, like competing was the duel when she popped, <laughs> she popped the shit out of bed. Back, Tina! <laughs> like, you know, I'm excited to see her back. Tina, she don't play no games. Tina is with the shits. She will hit you in your face. She will cuss you out. I'm excited to see if she's still got that same kind of fire. Um, next, we got Jody. Jody's back. I think the last time we saw her was when she won the duel. So I'm excited to see her back to see if she still got it. Kahut is back. Last time we saw him, I want to say was was it Bloodlines? Kahut is a fighter too. He's got he's got a lot of heart. And lastly, we got the goat. We got the king. We got my favorite male competitor. Darrell's back. I'm excited to see him back. Darrell, you don't want to see him in the final. He got second last season. I want him to win this season. Get that dub again, bring him back to them kids. But yeah, that's that's the cast. That's my little quick analysis rundown. We're not going to watch this trailer. I want to see what's up. I have not seen the trailer. I know it dropped today. I was at work. I was purposely avoiding it. I didn't want to see anything from it because I know it's going to do this later on. So we're going to watch this right now. I want to see what's up. I want to see what we got to look forward to because last season was good. Like last season was good. This is the new, this is the new main challenge for me. Like I don't care about watching what's on TV now because their challenges suck. The cast sucks. They all play like a bunch of punks, and I'm just excited to see the OGs back. So here we go. Right now. I'm gonna play it like play by play. I wanna see what's up. I'm gonna be pausing and stuff. Streaming on November 11th. So, there go Brad Pack, Swole. What have you been waiting a long time? D. Kang. After this, the champ. Janelle. The capture that elusive victory. Jemaya, Casey. To earn your second chance, you gotta work harder. Dig deeper. That kind of looked like the little ring from um, World of Worlds with the little sand and stuff. And where they at? They look like they in somewhere real well, nice. To the all new second season of the Challenge All Stars. I don't like TJ, y'all. I want TJ to be replaced. <laughs> like, bring Devin on. Bring Devin on. And really, you can have Mike the Miz come on and host the show. Him or um, Johnny Mosley. Okay, who's that? I can tell by that tattoo. It seems look, look like it might be Darrell. Nope, so I don't know who that is. Ayana. Who's this? That might be Janelle and maybe MJ. I want to make my kids proud, the fans proud. My only option Sorry. is to win. Season two will be the best challenge that they ever had. That's a nice house. They doing it big for the, for the OGs, and I'm glad they are, cause they the OGs bring it. Okay, so let's see who's in this shot. We got Jody and Brad. It looks like they're a team. That's a strong team. Jody and Brad. That's a strong team. 
like MJ and maybe John A. Yep, MJ and John A. Nehemiah and looks like Melinda. So these first two teams, Brad and Jody and MJ and John A, that's a team. Nehemiah and Melinda. Nehemiah can pull his weight. Melinda, I feel like, like I said, I don't think she's a bad competitor. So I feel like she's going to do good in like daily challenges. We're going to see her in elimination. But. Is going to get nasty. Last season was a. Hold up, who Darrell got? Darrell and Janelle. Okay, I like that. Last season was the first time I have ever lost the finals. I am back from redemption. Oh, God. You did the D? Okay, who was in this shot? Katie, Tina, Jasmine, Ayana, John A., Jody, Melinda, I think that's Kendall, Janelle. Tyler, Derek, MJ, Nehemiah, Brad, and Kahuta, okay. Maybe there's other people up there, or maybe this is his future, like, maybe a couple people are going home. It always comes around to bite you in the ass. Okay, I like the little challenge dome. They stepping up the, they stepping up the production value. Hey, Tech, Nehemiah, okay, so Nehemiah, and it looks like Melinda in an elimination, possibly. So, hey, there's my bag. You want to put a knife in it? If I come in first, I know exactly what to throw. Wait, let me see that. This looks, okay. I don't think I've seen anything like this before, so I'm excited. Who is that? I come in. That's Jody and Brad. Okay, so I'm there in an elimination against somebody. First, I know exactly who I'm throwing at. Jasmine jumping up and down like she always does. About to get ugly, y'all. Okay, who's crying? John A. With Melinda. Ugly, Jody and Brad. Uh, let's go. Tina popping fans. Uh, Tina about to show up. This should be kind of missing from this trailer. I don't even really know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm f***ing ready. The grand prize is $500,000, and that's life-changing money. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hey, please, please, please! <laughs> okay, you don't play when it comes to them heights. November 11th, exclusive. trailer was kind of, um... I ain't gonna say it was lukewarm, though, because they, they always deliver. I feel like the last trailer, I'm trying to think of the last trailer was high packed with a bunch of action, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's gonna go down. I will be reviewing this. I'm pretty sure I probably will start to finish. Cause you know how to fell off with the challenge, like I said, but I'm excited. I hope y'all are. Drop a comment, tell me who you're rooting for, what you think, what you think about that All-Stars 3 cast. I will be reviewing that, you already know. And like I said, I'm gonna try and get, I wanna try and get, I wanna try and start getting people. I'm gonna start trying to grab people and bring them to my channel. Cause I want to talk to Naya because I got a lot of questions. I want to talk to her about like life and stuff and what made her come back to the challenge. If I can get her before it airs, I might just put that off and post it whenever the cast gets announced. Uh, once the cast gets announced, but I want to get Darrell on here. I'm gonna try and get him on here because Darrell, like, that's my dude. Like, I want him on here, talk to him, pick his brain. Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all think. Drop comments down below, thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you are new here. Um, if you like the content that you see, what brought you here, check out my page, I'm Dancing with the Stars Reviews. I had a really funny one last night, the night before last. Check that out, because YouTube tried to play me and blocked the first time, and the video was doing good in like the first 24 hours. I'm like, really? So go run that up, go check that out, like it up, comment it, share it. But yeah, I'll see y'all for this November 11th, which I think is a Thursday, so. That'll be days where we'll be recording, but I will see y'all then. Talk to y'all later.